Instagram page and if you've seen my Instagram, thank you so much and for following me, thank you as well. If you haven't, well, why don't you follow me so you can stay updated with my posts? Anyway, so these are the posts that I have made throughout the year and um, they're not very reflective of every single artwork I've made, but these are the artwork I've made specifically for Hayala, so they are technically my entire year of art. Sadly, however, it's not a very fulfilling year because I've only made art from here. This one is my first art that I will consider as my first art even though it was made in December 25. Um, this was my, mm, I'd say, the first very uh, theme-centric art. Although, I have to say, I don't know why, but I... There's an artwork missing here. It's the pink princess illustration that was something I made for the new year. It's supposed to be mm, the lucky... Uh, not the lucky color, but Pantone's color of the year at that point had been Viva Magenta. It was a very nice color. So that was the whole theme of this art. It was Viva Magenta and I actually sold it in a merch fest and my friends thought it was nice. So, let's move on. So, the next two illustrations I made during this year was these Draw This In Your Style challenges. This is, I believe if you follow LB Draws, this is from LB Draws' 2023 DTIYS. Moving on. So, this one is Happy Umi and she's a very amazing character. Obviously, she's right here. She's in the comments. And she's an amazing artist. You guys should definitely follow her. Her original was actually this one. And this is mine. And I really love the concept for this one. I've seen it popping around on Pinterest, but I just didn't have the courage to do it. Umi gave me the push to finally draw something with this concept. I really love her concept, by the way. And her colors. They're so amazing. So the next one is this. This is my first attempt at doing a character illustration with a background, as I've mentioned before, and it's titled The Waiting Shed. Um, waiting sheds are like a thing here in the Philippines, as in like dilapidated waiting sheds with like, what do you call this? Oh, um, gang signs. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a lot of vandalism and supposedly trash, but I was not really experienced yet at cluttering backgrounds at this point in my art journey, so... It's very simple and straightforward and it's symmetrical on purpose because I did use a symmetry tool and this was still a time when I had Photoshop. <laughs> Sad. Anyway, moving on. The next one is actually my favorite post, my favorite artwork of the year to be honest. This is called Lunch and I was trying to emulate that feeling of eating alone as a teenager and everyone is always talking about how it's important that you have friends and eating alone makes you feel lonely, makes you look lonely. And in this one, I wanted to emulate how it actually feels to eat alone. You kind of savor more of your food. And I don't know, it, being al eating alone, having time to yourself is just a lot of... It, it just means a lot to me. So yeah. And I also kind of rendered the background in a really half-assed way because i wasn't really a background artist back then and also the perspective what is happening um let's pretend that doesn't exist at the back there let's pretend moving on so this is hayala's redesign in my new art style and i have to say what is the finger is giving ai i wanted to redesign a very long time illustration of my avatar this was still the one at the top there that was around 2020 and i had i was in my chibi phase if you can call it that and i wanted to recreate it this time with the kind of art style i have and also kind of a re-envisioning of what hayala lo looks like now in this part of my life obviously i still try to emulate the same sort of shapes and silhouettes but i do think it's matured a bit i do think it's matured a bit just yeah you know okay moving on not the most impressive artwork i've made this year so whatever oh let's watch this one it's actually a very fun stop motion up but that i made for school so the jump you know what looking back it's not that bad <laughs> I apologize. I was crying over this output because of how much 
it sucked and look at that everything is so sad um the thing about this is i actually green screened that background and when i told my instructor about it he was like suspicious <laughs> and i said it's a green screen background and i just added that in and made it look like it's part but eh. <laughs> and i mean it, it it's vibing that's for sure <laughs> I did not... I actually enjoy doing stop motion. Not so much the process of making the dolls, however. The doll, so... Th I cannot even... It, it's still here. I still have it. Although it's a bit... It's a bit beat up, but... <laughs> that's still... The doll is still alive. So anyway, um, this is actually posted in March 7. And this previous one was posted in February 19. See the jump? The time jump there, I was so busy with school, I had no time to make any more art for Hayala. Uh, this part is a vent post. This is a vent art. I was frustrated with a group that I was a part of for a project that was... I will not mention what it was, but it really burnt me out being in that group. And these are the individual panels. I think I had a thing for comics at this point because we were taking up motion comic in the previous semester, I believe. I'm not a very comic person, but... But I do think that if I made a comic, it would look good enough. <laughs> I just need to learn how to do paneling and start telling through panels, that kind of thing. Moving on, meet Patty. So Patty is my OC, and I have obsessively made Patty my subject matter for most of my outputs at this point because they were all about 3D animation, 3D modeling. Um, there were a few bits of storytelling, I believe. I chose Patty because she was already an established character that I have made in the past project. And you know what? In school, when you're in art school, in, if you're in art education like me, you kind of get tired of making all these original characters and there's not really enough time for you to sort of savor these characters and give them justice and i'm not the type of person to do that so patty became my trusty oc for everything and she's in a lot of my work so i decided to make an artwork of her i think i should make more artworks of her to be honest she's a really interesting character for me i mean i made her but one day i want to develop more of it maybe through an animation who knows i was very frustrated because at this point i was just making 3d stuff and i wanted to draw her a little bit to refamiliarize myself with her also lavender town <laughs> i have been watching her videos and i kind of got a bit carried away with watching her and rendering how she renders the eyes and so the eyes kind of look like how she would render next oh we're in june <laughs> we're in june hold on it's loading happy pride so this is elena barbie was being promoted barbenheimer and all that and i was in such a barbie mode during this time i still am i literally binged barbie movies while i was working on my output anyway this is my fan art for elena I actually apologized in one of these posts for not including bibble <laughs> and then anyway this is her barbie um magic of the rainbow fairytopia magic of the rainbow um attire for at the end when she becomes the rainbow itself when they open the the blush of spring oh wow when they open the blush of spring rainbow butterflies come out of the little flower and they all go to the butt and a rainbow will pop out of the flower so this is inspired by that moment and also that little cocoon that they made of the rainbow amazing amazing i love that concept so much okay next oh there's more reels Okay, next is this one. It's a remake of an old illustration that I had. This is what the old illustration looked like. And it was kind of looking plain, but it had potential. And I thought, why not remake it and add a little bit of background to contextualize it. And so this is what she looks like now in my art style. The next illustration that we have is this one. This is the Barbified Hayala. So she is an updated version. Posted in July, I also got inspired. And this is the start, I believe, of my obsession with butterfly tops. Everything is just butterfly and holographic for me at this point. Next up is Witchy Hayala. Oh my gosh, the time jump. What happened? Wait, no, July. Oh, I, I skipped August. August, I believe, was a busy time for me because it was preliminary exam season. This was in September 29th and i wanted to be ready for october because i love october it's witchy season it's spooky season moving on we i believe ah this is my beloved oh sorry 
let me just this is my beloved I, I don't know why i didn't post the original photo but this is my beloved character from our film her name is Faye, and she is um we haven't really agreed on a canonical trait for her but Faye is also yeah Faye is neurodivergent so i also wanted i was also at this point doing some work on our backgrounds i basically learned a lot on how to render backgrounds from her rendering it was a really nice process of learning for me so i applied it here that's why it looks so yummy because she helped me with that our leader helped me with that she's an amazing artist and you guys should follow her her name is cole j <laughs> i don't know if she's here i'll pop it up on screen now we are on the powerpuff girls my powerpuff girls redesign again I was obsessed with butterfly tops and this was the time the reason why i was able to do this project is because our instructor gave us some time to chill and just rest for a bit so i was able to do this so this one is bubbles's version i've talked about how i made these character illustrations in a video you should check that out <laughs> So this is what all three of them look like. Look at them, so precious. I was also unaware that the Powerpuff Girls, as in like the characters, were being celebrated for a certain anniversary. So kind of timely. That's why it popped off and I'm happy for that. Ooh, the next few pieces are just basically me um, reposting my old artworks because I wanted at this point to practice consistency even though I was not creating artworks and I thought it was fine to do this. I mean, it got five and six likes, so whatever. <laughs> okay, so spooky season. So this is pumpkins and ghosts and witches too. <laughs> I'm just reading. I don't know what was happening. But this is an old illustration. This is what it looked like back when I made it in Medibang. It was, this is a very old illustration. Sketch rather. And I just decided to render it. Although I did f make a few editing, obviously, because I've learned a lot of stuff about rendering. I love this one. I love this one. This one. We are on my tarot cards. I made these three tarot cards of the sun, the moon, and the stars. So the sun. So this is what the illustration looks like. She's a witch. And the theme for this one is witches and butterflies. So the sun, there's obviously sunflowers to detail that. And I loved making this pattern, by the way. The other one is the moon card. No, this one, I rushed it a bit because the thing is, I always struggle with simplifying my character's uh, designs. And so when it comes to character outfits that are a little bit more on the flowy side, I fumble with it a lot because you can't really showcase the flowy side of a character's um, outfit with just a half body pose. And I needed it to be half body to fit this thing oh the other illustration so this was a little half-assed and i wanted to add a lot of bling to her to make it look more moon and moon goddessy but at the same time i thought you know what the night time is a simple time it's a time for rest she should look like she's chill you know and i also added some moon flowers on her um hat like i did with sunflowers i believe for this one yes and i love the sun if you can't see that yet the sun is my favorite thing i know right boo she's a morning person so yeah this is a very nice magical and ethereal sort of illustration the star card on the other hand has a lot of background to it i'm an aquarius sun aquarius and the star is basically the aquarius's tarot equivalent i made her tiny she's a star stars are tiny in comparison to the sun and the moon but yeah i love this because it's giving alice in wonderland but in a little bit more of a grungy tone this one is me fumbling around with canva because i was doing a lot of um layout stuff the next one is oh this is a callback to all of my previous christmas illustrations because it was already approaching oh it was already approaching December, I mean November 15th, but it was already halfway to November, December. And I thought I would do a little callback, throwback sort of um, post to all of my Christmassy themed illustrations from the past. So this is the first one. Then you got this. Love this one. She was inspired by the Mean Girls outfit actually. And I love how I rendered this one. Sometimes I look back at my old pieces and I say, 
I was so powerful back then. I don't know what happened now. And this one was, I don't know what I was going for, but gingerbread and candy canes. And then this one is the most recent one that I told you guys about. I do believe I kind of glow down for this one but um this is a time when i was recovering from the immense work that i've had from my third year so yeah now this is i believe my most recent illustration um it's a milestone check so this is a comparison of all of my illustrations of my art styles rather from the past i call it the improvement milestone and this is what she looks like right now because this is speech by the way this is what she looks like right now because that's how i draw right now and this is what she looked like 2021 i skipped 2022 because that was when i was in third year and third year was a very busy time for me i could not have i did not even i don't even have that much artwork from last year so whatever and then we have 2020 a little mid <laughs> i mean i was still Ooh, i was not Ooh, what is that whatever and then 2019, my very first attempt at digital art with only my fingers. Eight. She ate. Look at that. The 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 eyes are slay. <laughs> you know what? She looks creative. I love it. Um yeah, I was following Jundi's tutorials back then. Oh wow, that's so scary though that I'm looking at it. Okay. I believe this is the last artwork for 2023. For me at least. So it is an icon of Hayala and it is where I practice Art Nouveau. I've talked about it also in a video. So check that one out for a more in-depth talk about this one. But yeah, so this is my holiday season icon and she is slaying. And it's the last post post is just an art versus artist of 2023. So these are all my best artworks. So the if you'll notice, majority of these are from the recent um, posts because I really like my old posts. So yeah, uh, the only one that survived is the lunch illustration because of how much I love that. I love the vibe in that one. I think it's one of my masterpieces, but yeah. I hope you guys have had a great year so far. And as a personal reflection, I do think this year was a lot of just loss, disappointment, and a lot of painful stuff that really tried to, tore me, to tear me down, but I came out the other side scathed a bit, but smarter, I guess. Um, if anything, I've learned a lot of my lessons. Thoughts were not in my favor this year, so I hope next year is going to be a little bit more kinder. A little bit more kinder. A little kinder. Just more fruitful for me. So that's all I have for you guys today. Happy New Year, I guess. And thank you so much for being with me this year. I hope you'll still be with me next year. So yeah, uh, thank you. And have a great day. Bye.